Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing this baby. So, uh, one of the things that, uh, since I've been into the CO2 laser cutter for a while now, uh, my fume extraction system has actually been uh, tied into my dust collection system. And uh, it's actually worked very well. However, the, the problem with that has been the noise. So, uh, it has been pretty loud. And the second thing is, I've now purchased a second uh, CO2 laser. So I wanted to see about beefing, beefing up the system. So I purchased this. Let me make sure you can see this. Yes, see this orange thing? So I actually got this idea. I think it's Sarba, Sarba Multimedia. Uh, but typically, he labels his videos RD Works Learning Lab. And one of the things that I noticed that he did for his laser is he purchased um, one of these. And if I can get it out of here, this baby is rather big and heavy. So this is what I purchased. And it's big. Bigger than I thought. I thought going big, and it's big. Um, so I might have overdone it a little bit. Uh, let's see. So what this is, is this is an inflator for a bounce house. And now this is a one horsepower, and uh, I just want to make sure you can see it all here. So this, this is a one horsepower. And my plan is, is obviously this is the intake here, and this is the exhaust. And, and so this, uh, you know, obviously was not designed to run... Uh, a laser cutter. However, what I'm going to do, and what, this is a little bit bigger than it looked in, <laughs> in the picture, to be quite frank. Um, let me see here. I do have a ruler here handy. So let's see. This this opening, so it's about six and a half inches. So that is a good thing because I can print on my 3D printer because my plan was actually on... Um, eBay, this looked a little deeper than it is here. Um, so my, my thing was, is I was going to 3D print a nozzle to go on here, and then a step down. It's So it's recessed a little bit further back than I thought. However, you know, it's still of a size where my 8x8 eight eight, um, uh, printer, my 3D printer, I can still print uh, a nozzle adapter. And then what it's going to do is print a nozzle adapter for this because this is, let's see, this is about four and a half inches. So I was going to make a coupler to go on here to exhaust outside. And then um, this would be my intake for my lasers or my uh, fume extraction system. Because the one thing I was hoping for is that this would be quieter than the uh, shop vac system. Now, this is a one horsepower motor. Now, the thing I was thinking is if this, because there's like a $10 difference between the three quarter, I think it was maybe five eight, something like that, and, and the full horsepower motor. And I figured I might as well go bigger than rather than smaller. So um, if, if this turned out to be too much, then I would use, you know, um, you know, one of those variable speed adapters like I use for the router to, to turn it down. So let's go ahead and let's plug this in and let's see what this is like. Yeah, it uh, definitely blows. Um, I'm wondering about the adapter, and I got the, that pretty wired in. Um, I'm going to go try the adapter for a second to see if I can slow this down. Okay, let's see, I'm back. So what I've done is I've hooked in the uh, speed controller from my router. So what I want to do is I've got this turned to the lowest setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this and then turn this and see what happens. And if I turn it on, it probably would help.
Well, I don't know if that works so good. So, as you sort of could kind of see as I was going through this, it, um, it only worked between the the high and the you know full setting. So, and the motor made um, somewhat of a funny noise. So I think one of the challenges is that might be a little bit um, because this is maximum 15 amps, uh, and this says it's only 8 amps. So the rating should be okay. Um, do not immerse in water. I'm just looking at what it says because I get that. I don't know if you can read that. So it's um, 115 volts, 60 hertz, 8 amp, 1000 watt, outdoor use, continuous duty, thermally protected. So this, and, and one of the things I did while doing this is, um, let me... I don't know if you can hear this, but... It does create quite a bit of suction, so there's no question that this will, you know, evacuate quite a bit of fumes. Again, I think the one horsepower might have been a little overkill. Actually, I'm going to say it is overkill. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this tampers it down enough. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a shot because it seems to work a little bit. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finish the project in another video. I'm gonna think about how to mount um, that because I don't have too much of of a lip here. So my idea is, I thought in the eBay picture this this stuck out a little bit more, and I think you can kind of see here this really does not stick out that much you know maybe a quarter of an inch you know so I can make an adapter and glue it or you know epoxy it on uh, I really didn't want to do that I wanted to go with a clamp fit so uh, but I don't think that's going to work and then with this again I'm gonna make a big adapter to go over here and this this I can probably do a clamp fit because I probably do this in TPU so it'll be flexible and I can definitely get uh, like a radiator clamp around here and adapt it down and then um, here so uh, again uh, I would suggest a smaller <laughs> version of this rather than the one horsepower um, so it's rather interesting so we'll see how this project goes so anyways I want to do an unboxing kind of show you guys what my ideas were and um, anyways hey hit me up below what you think uh, you know, on, on uh, RD Works Learning Lab, I think he had one about this size, uh, but he has it out in his garage, and I don't know, maybe, you know, he's got a 50 watt a little bit bigger, but this this baby definitely does a lot of sucking and blowing, so I have no doubt that it, <laughs> it'll evacuate the fumes from two machines easily as well as more, so anyways, we'll give it a shot. Uh, if you found this video interesting, hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. A lot more coming because I'm going to I'm gonna definitely, one way or another, build the adapters to go on here and see how this all works at the end of the day. Again, I was hoping for something a little bit quieter, but um, this is a little bit, it doesn't have the high pitch whine that my shop vac does. However, this baby still is noisy. So, anyways, we'll catch you in another video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.